back to my channel it's Wendy here from Toon Pish Crafts and I hope you're doing okay. Today I'm going to have a play around with washi tape and PBO vitriol pens. Now these are designed for glass etching and making, designs on glass and these are for card making and there's absolutely no reason why you can't put them into resin. I've seen some videos on Instagram and YouTube on washi tape and the pens and I thought, you know what, I'm going to have a play around. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> so let's see how I got on with this one. So this is the washi tape that I'm going to be using. I purchased it from Amazon. It's an easy to get hold of one and I like the colours so I chose it. You can get all sorts, you can get metal inlaid ones and holographic ones. And this is just one I chose at random. It was easy to get hold of and it was delivered quite quickly so I went with it. I'm just going to be putting them into coasters. As usual, coasters is my go-to when I'm trying things out. I've got quite a lot of coaster moulds and they're easy to use. Don't take up much resin either. So yeah, I'm going to be putting them into coasters and just have a play around. Now I've already laid a thin coat of resin in the bottom and I'm putting the washi tape on top. Now I'm just going to cut it roughly to size and then I'm going to trim it up with a Stanley knife once it's in. As usual I've sped up most of this so that you get the gist of what I'm doing without having to sit there for hours watching the whole thing. <laughs> so here's the Khan Relief Vitriol pens that I was talking about. Now I don't have a very steady hand and I wanted to do straight lines and I figured the best way to do it is to actually wobble it on purpose to get a straight line and it did actually work really well. So yeah, just going with the flow, just deciding what to do as and when I'm getting there really. No plan. So as I'm going through this, I'm getting more and more confident with these PBO paint things. And it's becoming a lot easier to judge how to use it. It just takes a little practice. It really was that simple. If I can do it, you can do it. So you could do any design in these things. I mean, they are so versatile. They are so much fun to use. And yeah, and the colours are really striking as well. So with the silver one I decided to add the little blue stone which is actually leftover resin I pour into random moulds and I have them quite a lot of them in pots around so I decided just to put one in there and I think that actually looks really sweet. So here's a close up view of what they look like at the moment and I'm going to let them dry. Now I did actually let them dry overnight. I don't think you need to but I thought well it's too late in the day now for me to do anything else so I'll let them cure overnight and that's what I did. Following day I decided to use some UV resin to put some glitter in them. Now you don't have to use UV resin, you can use ordinary resin as long as your barriers are completely tight, i.e. the vitriol pens are completely against the, the edges, which mine aren't, and the wall or the, the height of the vitriol pens is tall enough to stop the resin going over. So mine was neither of these, so I decided that UV resin was the best way to go. So I decided to mix some glitter in with some UV resin. This is my go-to UV resin. It cures really quickly and goes super hard, so I'm happy with that. So this red glitter isn't actually red glitter, it's red fine flakes. It's like the flakes that you would dust onto a mould. It's actually really fine 
red flakes but I decided to use it and it did work really well it was a little patchy in places red glitter probably would have done a lot better but yeah it worked well so all I'm doing is mixing the glitter or the flakes in with UV resin and popping them under the lamp and curing them up and move into the next one and while that one's curing move into the next one and it's a lot of fun you know it is a lot of fun especially when you come to choose colors I do apologize for it being out of focus sometimes I'm trying to give you the best angle so that you can see and I keep getting my blooming hand in the way so most of these glitters were bought from eBay years ago and I'll try to link as many as I can but I can't hand on heart promise that I will get them all so yeah glitter's easy to come by though isn't it it's everywhere don't forget to leave a comment in the section below I always get back to comments and even if you just want to say hi I will reply to you and if you've got any ideas or any suggestions let me know any questions I'll always answer questions if I can I will So once all the UV resin has cured, it's time for me to put on a clear coat of resin to seal it all in. And I'm just going to be using a Luminite clear cast for this as I've already made up some for a different project. This washi tape has been a lot of fun to play around with. I do totally get why people are doing it and you can get such pretty designs and colours that you can do all sorts in any way shape or form that you want to. I do suggest having a go at washi tape, it's a lot of fun. So I decided that I was going to outline the coasters to show off the designs and it really does show off the designs. Pens I'm using are Deco Color Premium Gold and Premium Silver and I really think they are the best pens I've come across. They are amazing. They can be on the little expensive side however they're well worth it and I know they're difficult to get in the UK but they are available sometimes on Amazon and I will put the links in the description below as always. So I hope that was as much fun for you as it was for me because I really loved playing with his washi tape. I know it was a cheap one I bought from Amazon. I didn't fill the moulds up because I didn't want to finish them off to a high standard if you see what I mean. I didn't want to go dome in and all that sort of thing. I just thought I'd have a mess around with the washi tape and the lining thing whatever it's called <laughs> and yeah and see what the results were I mean the red wasn't glitter it was a fine metal type dust I think he meant to use it as in like he would flakes but I haven't yet so I just thought I'd try that out and I absolutely love the results the edging really makes it don't you think I mean, that kind of looks like balloons to me. <laughs> it's very bright colours, not to everybody's taste. But, uh, you know, it's what it is. I, this is my favourite. I've got to show you. I love this. This is my absolute favourite. I love that. Now, I think it's because of the subtle colours. And it kind of looks like the sunshine and sea. And, yeah, I really love that. And it's just really messing around. And that little tiny blue bit, again, it's probably said that in the talk over, was just a little piece of resin that I put tiny pieces in little moulds that I've got lying around. And I always keep them. And I just thought I'd throw that in. And I absolutely love it. This one's 
pretty nice as well. It's a musky pink, a dusky pink, a musky. It's a dusky pink. A dusky pink apparently is in this year. Whoever chose that, I don't know, but <laughs> I thought I'd throw that in. Anyway, it was a lot of fun for me. I hope you gained something out of this. Come back and see what I'm up to next week. You never know what I'm going to be up to. <laughs> Have a good week. If you could put the thumbs up, I would be very grateful. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. It does help my channel out. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll put up some stills at the end. Bye for now.